with all the talk this morning about natural disasters from the earthquake uh, in Virginia to this Hurricane Irene, which is now making its way toward the eastern seaboard, we thought it could be a perfect time to talk about insurance because we want you to be prepared. You need to know, though, what kind of insurance you might need for disasters like a potential earthquake or a hurricane, what it costs. So here to answer those questions for us, personal finance expert Carmen Juan Ulrich, who is the author of The Real Cost of Living. Always great to have you Good here. Good morning, Erica. So a lot of people, you get an earthquake in a place that's not used to having earthquakes, and some people said, oh, you know, there wasn't a ton of damage. There was some minor damage, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, when it comes to something like earthquake insurance, really, who is eligible for it? How much does this cost? What does it cover? Well, everyone's eligible, and here's the thing. When we think of earthquake, you usually think California, mm -hmm. right? But according to the Insurance Information Institute, 90% of Americans live in a spot of seismic activity. 39 states have had an epicenter of an earthquake. All 50 states have had damage wow. from an earthquake. So we are actually all vulnerable. So that's something you really need to consider and keep in mind. Okay, so as you're considering this, yeah. if you live in an area where you feel like you should get hurricane insurance, I've heard We'll talk about that after. We'll get earthquake insurance. Earthquake, yes. How much does something like this cost? Well, it, it really depends. And first of all, you really need to understand that earthquake insurance is not part of your homeowner's, renter's, or business owner's insurance policy. Any structural damage or property damage to your home or your business, you have to purchase a separate rider okay. for, for earthquake, okay? So you really got to keep that in mind. However, with your car, your car, if you have comprehensive coverage, it is completely covered. Now, the cost depends on the structure of your home. Mm -hmm. Is it wood? Is it stone? How old it is? Uh, the insurance carrier, of course, and also the deductible. Here's the thing. Deductibles range from anywhere from 2% to 20% of the replacement value of your home. So if your home it would cost $200,000 to replace, that's anywhere from $4,000 to $40,000 deductible. And in California, the average annual uh, earthquake premium is around between $700 and $800. Wow. So it really depends on what region you're in, too. Yeah, and, and whether or not you'll need it. So those It's are much cheaper things. in Maryland. On, on the East Coast, for example, you're looking at $100 to $300 in terms okay. of annual premiums. So that's maybe a little bit more manageable. And, right. just, and just real quick, tell me again, what exactly would it cover a typical earthquake insurance policy. It covers structural damage. damage that's okay. not covered under your homeowner's policy. Now, some homeowner's policies do have coverage for if a fire breaks out because of an earthquake okay. or pipes burst because of an earthquake. You have to read your policy. Okay, so read that. Now, when it comes to hurricanes, we saw such a debacle after Hurricane Katrina. Yes. Was it flood damage? Was it from the hurricane? Was it not? In terms of coverage there, what can you get? What should you get? Again, just like earthquake, you need to have a separate rider. You need to have separate coverage. Now, the coverage in terms of a flood is actually provided by a government entity. This is the National Flood Insurance Program. So you can get that though through your current insurer and it's really worth having it if you can afford it because a lot of us are more subject to floods than we really realize. And you're eligible if your community participates with the NFIP. Go to floodsmart.gov. Mm -hmm. That's where you can check in on your state and your community. Okay, great advice as always. Car